Congratulations. <laughs> and welcome everyone to the 100th Drumio lesson. Yes, the 100th. I can't believe there's been 100 of these already. I know, it's absolutely insane. And today, you guys, we are announcing some big news for us, and it's just going to be a fun lesson. We're just going to have this lesson, we're just planning on having a ton of fun yeah. uh, chatting with you guys about the future of Drumio, also talking about um, seven beats every drummer must know, and this kind of taps into. What we're announcing. Yes. And should we get to that today or should we just like, should we continue the tease? Uh, I, I want to release, I want to announce it. I mean, there's, there's, we've been um, ho holding on to this for quite a while. Yeah. And uh, we've been doing some, well, for some of the stuff we've been doing some tests on uh, just before the lesson actually, <laughs> making sure that it all works. So. Yeah. Um, so for those of you guys who are members of Drumio, you know that when you sign up, um, what you receive that day and the, the excitement that you experience, it's great. It's awesome. It works. And um, our members absolutely love being a part of Drumio. What you also know is that we constantly are trying to improve it and make it better. So yes. we're always asking for feedback. You guys are giving us your feedback. And we're looking for new ways to make learning online easier. And so one of the things that we are announcing today is the integration of our new Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. He stops. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say we have a couple other things to announce first. Okay. 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 First off, if you guys haven't already seen, we kind of soft announced this a little while ago, but we are now doing play-alongs. Every Friday there's a new play-along. Yeah. And uh, Jared, you just played to one of them yeah. um, that Nate wrote, an awesome song, lots of room for drum stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, and that one is now available for this lesson right now. Everybody can download it in the MP3s, okay? Yeah. And, in uh, the MP3s or the MP3s? The, the MP3s. There's a section right <laughs> below that says download the MP3s. It's giving yeah. me a hard time already. Drumio is a home run, just like your shirt. Yes. People are already commenting on your shirt. That's in the chat. why I wore it. Yeah. Um, so, exactly, exactly that. Like, what, one thing we're trying to do is constantly improve. And so, one thing that members really wanted and they are missing or lacking is uh, play alongs. And so, we yes. brought on Nate Savage, and uh, he's a guitarist, bass player, musician extraordinaire. And he basically is going to announce, you know, one to two play alongs every single week. And that's, that's the play along this week that uh, you, I just, I just uh, got it. Before this like lesson, twenty minutes ago, so I was just practicing <laughs> it before, and then that's what I got. There's one little error in there. I wish I could have back, and a couple rim hits, but it's just a fun song to bust it out to, right? Um, any other announcements before we get into the real one? Uh, yes, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we are announcing a new kind of uh, a look to Drumio, the members section. Yes, um, that's going to not be today though. That's tomorrow. Yeah. That's tomorrow. So you guys won't see it today, but it's going to be released tomorrow. And there's going to be a new section. There's going to be like a showroom in there. There's going to be a section for resources and tools. You can download extra play-alongs, metronome tracks. Uh, it, we're just revamping the whole user experience yeah. for Drumio members. So yeah. For the people who signed up for, for the Drumio and, and all the weekly live stuff that we do. So Okay. And I'm going to keep postponing this, the, the, this announcement. Oh, people are going to kill people. I know. I'm going to kill people. Because we are going to give away a lot today. Because nice. this is our 100th episode. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give away two month free memberships. We're also going to give away a yearly membership. Wow. And for everybody who's actually a Drumio member already in the chat, we're going to give away one of our online products. And if you wanted, if you win it, you can choose yeah. whichever one it is. Drumming system, drum fill system, bass drum secrets, yeah. rudiments, you name it. Uh, and that's going to be just for the people in the chat who are already members through the Drummy website because that's some people don't have Facebook. That could be like $400 worth of stuff it's that we're giving stuff. away today. Yeah. You guys, so stick around and uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Okay, and to, to answer for that, okay. uh, one more thing. I know it's a, we, we want to get to I usually do this to him. Yeah? I usually do this to you. I know, I usually do this to me. Okay. It's my turn now. Uh, so to enter for the free stuff for um, everybody who's not a member of Drumio, even the people who are members of Drumio, you can enter as well. Go to facebook.com slash Drumio. And because it's our 100th episode, we've been doing so many of these, we want to ask what has been your favorite Drumio lesson. Yeah. For all you guys have been on for the public lessons, for the free ones, there's been plenty of those too. Let us know what's your favorite lesson that we've done so far and why on the wall of facebook.com slash Drumio. And then towards the end of the lesson, we're going to pick randomly uh, three winners for the monthly, monthly, and the yearly subscription to Drumio. Yeah. And cool. you guys, you're going to love being a part of, of Drumio. I, I, I tell you, it's... Uh... Well, mo most of the uh, uh, ad you know advancements and the new things, features we've been doing have been suggestions from our members. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's yeah. just... Uh, I, I honestly think that we've been doing online lessons now for over 10 years, and I, I literally think we are at the forefront of, of you know, what it's how to actually teach someone online. How yeah. do you actually, you know, transfer the knowledge from over here in Canada 
in a little studio <laughs> in the sticks yeah. to you guys in Australia, the United Kingdom. And, and, and I see you guys having so much success already. And I know that what we're announcing today is going to actually just help increase that um, success that you're having, help you gain a better understanding of the exercises and stuff that we teach you and just how to ingrain it more into your memory. So am I good to announce this? You're good to announce it. Tom. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is how it ties into the lesson. So I wanted to do something uh, unique because we're announcing this new technology. And uh, so I did seven beats every drummers must know. Now, obviously there's probably 20, 30, 40 beats that you must know, but I think seven is a good, nice number. It's a lucky number. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I think these seven beats that I've written, um, if you're planning on playing in church, if you're planning on sitting in the top 40 band or anything like that, any sort of like 90% of pop music contains these beats. And even some non pop we have some jazz in there and a little bit of Latin as well. And so the, the thing that we're announcing today is during all of our live lessons, we're calling it uh, smart beat technology. Mm -hmm. And the smart beat technology is basically a unique way that our on-screen sheet music will actually re read the sheet music for you and you'll see a bouncy ball go. And this is something that happens when we're live, okay? So you guys have seen this in our pre-recorded videos, um, but now we've kind of figured out a way to do this while we're live. So you guys sitting there um, on your computer, wherever you are in the world, you can actually get a visual representation of exactly how the beat looks, how it sounds, and exactly where everything lines up in the beat. So I'd like to demo this. Yeah, sure. I was going to say, it's almost like um, what we've been able to do with our products, like yeah. Drumming System and Bass Drum Secrets, uh, we could never do with live. Now we can. Yeah. That's why it's a pretty big deal. And, and Smart Beat Technology, is, it's, we've been working on it for a long time. Yeah. Oh it's, my goodness. it's slick. Wait until you see it. Yeah. Let's, let's give it a shot. Okay, so now look at Exercise 1. Now, exercise 1 is a beat that, we, that probably most of us know. It, it's a, a very beginner beat. But honestly, this is something that you hear in so much music like listen to any John Mayer album ACDC album um, Punch of U2 stuff all that kind of stuff it contains beat one different dynamic ranges of beat one so what I'm going to do using the smart beat technology I'm going to play beat one for you guys at 80 beats per minute Un Unreal. So I have a question for you. How does it feel to be part of a, literally a drum lessons revolution, you guys? This is exciting. I know it's so cheesy to say it like that. But literally, we, we can do this now. You know, imagine we're going to be a year from now. Imagine yeah. we're going to be two years from now. And that's, that's where Drumeo is. Drumeo is going to constantly push the boundaries of online drum education. And, uh, and um, members, you guys know it. And tomorrow, members, when you see the, the stuff that we're doing for you, just even with the redesign, and that's not even a big announcement. I think that's... Yeah. That's <laughs> well, already in the chat, like, Simon Stewart says, flawless. Jay Groom says, this is epic. Mikey Mayhem says, it's yeah. a loving it. Uh, excellent. You know, everybody's just loving it. I hope it, I hope it works out. The only problem is we got to make sure we know our stuff when we're teaching so we don't, <laughs> so we don't mess no, up. Fine. Okay, so now, now uh, this Smart P technology is obviously... It's targeted towards people who are beginning or intermediate drummers. And that's where we'll really use it the most. Because if you're an advanced drummer, you know how to read the sheet music. And it's not as, you don't need to kind of figure out where everything's lined up. And so um, what we're going to do all our exercises now using the Smart Beat technology, the slow versions. Then what we want to do is we want to do a faster version without using it. So you can first, you know, see how it looks at the sheet music, see how, where everything's lining up. Then we're going to remove that and we're going to play the beat without that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to play it again at 140. Just let me check this level, Victor. Yeah, a from that. Oh, it's probably... Oh, I mean, I smart beat technology, but not smart no, phone. No, it's, 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 uh, it's this <laughs> case. <coughs> All right, here we go. You know, I have a Sorry, metronome guys. here on here, too. No, this I like this metronome better. Yeah, it's far superior. You have to put your uh, speakers on there. There we go. Sorry, guys. <coughs> okay, ready? So now I'm going to play that beat at 140.
Okay, so hopefully I give you two examples of how that sounds. Now we're going to move on to something harder. Sorry. That's the, that's the thing, guys. What the Drumeo iPhone case, it uh, you can't plug your headphones in properly. Or at least these, this headphone because it's the knob. Is that one's a huge knob, though. I've had no problem with mine. <clears throat> okay, next exercise we're going to move on to is exercise two. And you're going to notice this is kind of like a disco groove, or if you were to play um, ABBA, or a actually a lot of YouTube. Did you just say ABBA? Of course. <laughs> if what's, you guys are ABBA playing song? ABBA. What's the ABBA song? <laughs> Number 10. Hey, if you play weddings, or you play anything like that, which a lot of people will, yeah, or you play great. in church, this is the stuff I used to play a lot. Yeah. Okay, so you'll notice that the hi-hat's on all the and counts, and we're opening the hi-hat. And the hi-hat closes on the one, the two, and the three, and the four. So you'll see that's notated with the hi-hat foot. All right, and then we have the snare on beats two and four. So let's play this with the SmartBeat technology. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah. <laughs> I think I get, I'm going to get giddy every time I do that. I know. And now I'm going to play it faster for you guys at 140. Okay, so that one was... Very challenging for me when I was first starting the drumming, just the separation between the kick drum and the hi-hat. So for those of you guys who are starting out and you, you think that your right hand and your bass drum, there's no way to ever separate them, mm -hmm. there is a way and that's a really, really good exercise to do it. Okay? Cool. Can we continue moving on? Yes, yeah, do it. Okay. The next one uh, I want to play for you guys is, I remember when I first heard this groove when I was first starting out and it was just, it sounded so difficult. But when you actually get down to it and look at it, it's actually not that hard. And it's kind of, some people might call this a boogaloo groove, but it's, um, I'm going to turn this off. Might call it a boogaloo groove, but sometimes in boogaloo grooves you have um, no, no snare hit on count four. But this is kind of a variation of, of a boogaloo groove, and it's a very, very popular groove that, that I think um, you must know for any sort of like pop pop kind of music, like Our Lady Peace or... Alternative. Alternative. Yeah. Yuka, if you're ever playing in the Yuka. Yeah, that's all they're drumming beat. quit. The only beat play. you need to know, yeah. Because they're looking for a new drummer. Sure. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so you notice you have a snare hit on the counts two, on the A of two, then you have one on the E of three, and on count four. Okay, so let's play this at 80 beats per minute. Okay. I just want to add that. So can you just throw up that smart beat technology screen one more time there, Kyle or uh, Victor? You'll see that the number of the exercises on there. We had a couple people asking what okay. the exercises yeah. were on. The number of the exercises is on there. Uh, the t uh, BPM, like the tempo, is on there as well. And when it counts, right by the uh, foot cam there, you'll see the count that it's on and there's little uh, um, boxes that light up. Just to yeah, yeah, let's just run it again and actually explain exactly what happens. Yeah. That's a good point, dude. Yeah. So, so run it. I won't play along with it. Oh, almost. <laughs> there, we go. there we go. There you go. Okay. So you can see on there the one, two, three count. It even lights up the boxes below. Um, and, uh, and people in the chat are saying the bouncy ball should be your face. I think we can do Shouldn't that. Shouldn't I be? Different face for every every count. But uh, that's good, guys. Thanks. Yeah. So there you go. That's uh, that's the breakdown of it. With no playing, it looks kind of silly. No, I think it's great because you can actually just get a visual representation of how it goes. Mm -hmm. You guys, they've done scientific studies, and they say if people can hear it, that's one thing. But if you are able to now see it and actually get like a visual representation of what you're hearing, 
you're way more likely to internalize it. It's just like when, they, when someone, uh, your teacher in school or whatever is, is speaking and you take notes instead of just listening. Yeah. You're way more likely to internalize that. And that's what this does. It's going to guarantee that you actually learn the stuff rather than just um, you know, listen to us play it and then are left on your own to actually you know, learn it. And so this is, this is a, we're doing this because we know it helps drummers learn better, learn quicker, and it's going to be more efficient so you can get more done. Yeah. All right, so cool. let's move on. Uh, exercise four is another one. This one, I keep mentioning you too. It seems like Larry Mullen plays every single beat in these. <laughs> but uh, yeah. this one, we got this, the, the alternating 16th notes in the right hand. Okay, so right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then we're coming down and hitting the snare on counts two and counts four. And with kick drum and counts one and counts three. So here we go. Let's play this at 80 beats per minute using the smart beat technology. Okay, now I'm going to quickly play that one faster for you guys at 140. Cool. Excellent. Um, the next groove we're going to move on to is just a basic swing pattern. So this isn't, like I know everyone wants to learn something different, and if you want to really study jazz and study swing, it's, not, it's nothing I've done. Uh, but if you want to do that, it, it takes a lot of um, commitment, time and effort to actually go there and study that. But it is, you know, even if you want to primarily play rock, it's still very important that you just know some of the basics of each of these other styles. And so that's why I've included it in here, because there will be a time um, even even for you guys, you know, playing in church and stuff, and normally you're playing probably grooves one through four. Yeah. Um, but there will be a time when you're required to play a swing pattern, and you just don't want to be left out in the cold and not know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Or you don't want to you don't want them to ask you to play a swing pattern, and then you play like a rock pattern with a swing feel. Yeah. Have you done, done that before? That. I've definitely <laughs> I done see that you before. Do <laughs> I bet you I've done it before too. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to exercise five now, and this is in triplets. So we have. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Okay, so the, the, the ride pattern is one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Let's go for it. It's not really a ride I would use for this. <laughs> yeah, a rock ride, really brilliant finish. <laughs> and then uh, really uh, heavy, full hi-hats. Yeah. Uh, but it gets the point across. So you guys, uh, hope you guys can get, understand that. Uh, I can play it faster for you guys if you want. Shall I do that? Yeah, you should. 140? Let's go for it. Okay. Okay, so one thing you're noticing there is I'm not pounding the bass drum every single time. I'm just actually heels down and just tapping it lightly, not bearing the beater. With my left foot, if you can just show that, I'm doing this. And that helps me keep time with the actual groove because my heel hits on the downbeats, the ones and the threes, and mm -hmm. I, I close the high on twos and fours. I don't always see people doing that, and I, w I wonder why. 
um, just yeah. because it's such a great way to just keep the time solid and yeah and it's less work for your foot it seems if you just kind of rock it cool okay next exercise we're going to go through is a basic bossa nova and me and Dave were going back and forth in this earlier about what should we put in there for the clave yeah because there's <laughs> there's three different types of claves you guys could use okay well actually more than that if you do if you go three two and two three yeah I don't want to get too complex right now, so we just chose a basic song clave, and it's a three over two song clave. What that means is, if you look at the sheet music, um, if you can actually just throw it on screen there, Kyle, I, I can just talk about it and they can actually see it. Okay, so look at the, look at the awesome. sheet music on the first bar. Yeah. You're going to see acrostic on count one, acrostic on the end of two, and acrostic on count four. All right, and uh, that's three cross -ups. okay now let's move to this next bar if that's possible we're making kyle work he's just yeah. going, oh no <laughs> <laughs> okay there, there we go. go the next bar Perfect. okay so now you're gonna what do you see you see two cross sticks okay so that means three over two and the song clave is basically one and two and three and four and 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 and we can get into the other claves you guys who are, who are members of Drumio you're gonna get all that information and a ton more yeah. um, in the coming lessons I know we we've, we've booked three months ahead um, so we got tons of stuff planned but um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm going to play it for you guys with the basic song clave, and this would be called like a, a bossa nova. All right, so let's do that at 80 beats per minute. Okay, now I'm going to play it faster for you guys at 140. Wow, I had some trouble just like changing my mind over. Oh, that was twice as fast. It was so loopy. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It was almost twice as fast, but not totally. So I'm just like, what? Why could it's it's this new thing that we're launching? We're just a little bit loopy right now. Um, are there any questions that I can get to for people related to this? Uh, we've got one more to do, okay. and then we'll get to the questions. The final exercise that I want to talk about you guys is a basic shuffle. Again, this is using the triplet feel, and as far as like. What do you learn more, jazz or shuffle? Personally, I play mostly rock and that sort of uh, genres, and sh I still use a shuffle a lot. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not necessarily like this hard shuffle, it is, um, it's used like even when you just go for like a basic swing rock pattern. And that kind of stuff, you, you literally, you'll hear that kind of stuff with Audio Slave, you hear that kind of stuff, um, not necessarily a shuffle, but if you want to play this kind of shuffle, you listen to a lot of Steve Ray Vaughan and any, any kind of blues stuff and you're going to hear this. Okay, so let's play this at uh, 80 beats per minute. Cool, and now we'll do it again at 140. Perfect. Learn those seven beats and you guys will get gigs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using these 
Colbus pot guillotine sticks, and they're just like freakishly heavy at the top. Colbus has got a new uh, signature line of sticks, I guess. Eh? I, I don't know exactly what they're, but they're... I don't even know if I'm supposed to say anything. Um, oh, moving on. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. So those are what I think seven beats that you must know. Now, there's obviously more, so we don't need to get carried away, and, and, and you don't need to lash out at me if I haven't gotten to all the beats that you must know. But I, I think the hate's coming in already. No, it's better That's not. not but you know what? You know, if you're watching this um, in the in the archives on Drumio, if you're watching this on, on YouTube later or on Facebook or wherever you're watching, you know, and and you you feel like there's a beat. That every you want you want to make sure every drummer knows and go ahead and, and, and share it. You know that's what we're all about is sharing information and and especially drummer members. I'd love to see your guys' um, your feedback in the forum. I know mm -hmm. that's a, a great place that uh, I spend like way too long every day just I browsing know. around. I know. I could spend I could spend eight hours. Uh, you could be paying me just to to do um, forum posts all day. I could stay in there all day. Um, okay, so. Before we get into some of the questions, sure. I just want to remind everybody that we are giving away two month-long memberships and a year-long membership on Facebook. And just to reiterate, go to facebook.com slash drumio and answer the question that I asked on our wall. Just post, what is your favorite drumio lesson? What has been your favorite drumio lesson so far and why? Do yeah. you have cool. a favorite one? This one. This one. This one is, this one I, I feel it's a hundredth lesson and... Uh, it's a landmark for us. It is, and, and I feel like we're, we're breaking ground, we're pushing forward, and that's going to be the way it is for the next rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, uh, 200, we'll have another huge announcement. Oh, yeah. Before then, probably. Oh, too. for sure. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we're, we're launching the new uh, interface for users. Yeah. Cool. Well, Jared, thanks for uh, showing us those those, uh, those beats. No, dude, it's nothing. I, um, I love it. You love it. Yeah. We actually don't do many lessons together anymore. No. Yeah, we got 15 other instructors that I like to sit in with. Yeah. Um, I don't like sitting with Jared anymore. No. Yeah. Well, I don't like you either. Yeah, we don't like each other. So. <laughs> All right, let's get to some of the questions here. Some of these are going to be off topic, and um, uh, I'll try to get to the ones that are more pertaining to the lesson sure. itself. Um, and you just go, you can get through all of them too, it's fine. Yeah, so we do have the time. Yeah. And usually in, uh, oh, actually we got two things to say. Usually, first off, in the lessons, we obviously make sure we get to all the questions, but they're a little more structured. On the free public lessons, we just have a lot more fun. Uh, it's a little more laid back. Well, I would, say, I would say, I say we have fun in the other lessons, but I'd say there's a level of seriousness in those regular weekly lessons because everyone is, everyone oh, is paid yeah. to be there and they're definitely there to learn and they want to get their value. And so we, t we take that very, very seriously. Yeah, very true. Thanks for... Uh, um, I'm like a politician, hey, Dave? Yeah, you're like a politician. <laughs> you're the guy, you're the guy oh, that... Dust uh, just came off this <laughs> time. Hey, I haven't done my laundry in a long time. <laughs> Should we talk about the sheet music for one second? Oh, okay, yeah. A lot of you guys know um, with our sheet music, we've been like the rebels out there. And we put the sheet music with the snare drum on the middle line. Um, because honestly, I think that's a better way to do it. It's an easier way to learn. Uh, but a lot of you, uh, over the years, we've gotten a lot of flack from just regular drummers who study some different books and from people actually in the industry. They're saying, why do you do it that way? And we say, well, it's better. Like, it is. It's better this way. It's, it works better with our all the stuff that we do on screen, and, and uh, it's easier for the student to learn and differentiate the toms because each of the toms are on the other lines now. Um, but still, moving forward, we decided to to um, wave the white flag with that because we feel it's not a battle that we just want to fight, and and um, we don't want to cause any sort of conflict uh, with that or any differentiate ourselves and make confuse anyone. So yeah. what we've done is we just put move the snare back up onto the line that everyone likes it on, and, and it's as simple as that, but there's not, like, it's not like a big, big change or anything. No. The snare just, you'll see the sheet music, the snare just goes in between the line, and now the, there's one tom on the space. Okay. Dan, Daniel J. Jones says, it's about time. Yeah, some people are like that, and then some people are like, I just love it the other way. Yeah, some people yeah. have learned, like, from the very beginning, yeah. that our, our way of doing it, so... Yeah. But uh, yeah, it gets such a small little change. It's moving literally like a couple millimeters up, yeah. and um, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. No. Cool. Okay, let's get to some questions. This one's from Jank, and I know how to pronounce his name now. Uh, he says, I'm very lucky to be off today and be a part of the 100th lesson. So glad I joined Drumio. Hope it gives um, uh, something more. I hope I get something more to look forward to every busy day after work and family obligations. Of course. Cool. Um, I've only been a member for three weeks and slowly getting better and practicing finger control in my forearms. Um, every day they burn. Whoever thought choking would be a good thing on music, keep up the great work. So that was just a cool compliment. Awesome, man. He's already, after three weeks, he's already uh, noticing improvements. Yeah, and we did a lesson yesterday on cymbal choking, and a lot of people are like, well, how, how do you do an hour lesson long on cymbal choking? Yeah. Uh, but it, 
we did it, and there's a ton to learn. Well, about. I saw Callum; he gave musical examples and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a lot. To, there's a lot to do with that. And... Yeah, Shaden Shaden says uh, maybe you two will get to the point where you can play my drums for me. That's the next evolution of drum you'll hire. No, no, no. Uh, it's not we, the way it goes. We, our goal is to make you the best drummer, and you are going to play your drums for you, and you're going to play them. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and Jake Carroll, I don't know if you were joking with this, but it, it could be more serious than you think. He says two years from now, I will be able to print off my paper with the smart beat technology included. Who knows? <laughs> okay, here we go. Dave the Wave says, does the smart beat technology work on drum mics, or are you? guys playing to the balancing ball meaning if you guys speed up will the balancing ball speed up too or um how we, exactly we do the smart beat technology it's, techno it's it's patented technology we can't it's not patented. <laughs> yeah. it's, it is the, the smart beat technology is a trademark but um how we do it is it's very complex and our video team victor um kyle and my, my brother uh jamie they have been working on it tirelessly and so i can't give you the exact specifics i don't think that's as important as that it works and it's going to help you get better at drums and so um yeah we, we don't want to give away our, our yeah, industry yeah. secrets right? <laughs> it's uh every time we hit the note it actually puts the note on the screen on the screen we'll say that uh, yeah right um Tre uh, trek rail says hey dave it's me kathy i think kathy won um a membership awesome i think i i could be wrong yeah um ad anyway she just wanted to say hi not a question she just says thanks a bunch for the tremendous great work you guys are all doing thanks. i think this lesson may be my favorite even though i just started because i want to have something that i can just plug in anywhere if you know what i mean yeah totally agree with this, you. these are those grooves so if you're just starting out or, or you're an intermediate and you haven't learned the bossa or some of the swing patterns or the shuffle yeah Learn this. You must know these. You have okay? to know these. Yeah. He, she, she also says, uh, um, I love the bouncing ball, girly, girly stuff here, but you need to put a smiley face on it and dress it accordingly with sunglasses for summer. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. Well, the thing is, when this lesson goes in the archive, like, we archive our lessons forever. So 10 years from now, you can go back and watch this, and you might be winter where you are. Yeah. And so we can, <laughs> we, we got to think about that, Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Alexa says, hey, what, uh, Jared, what do the plus and the O sign mean above the exercise? That's on a good number question. Two? Number two, the plus sign is when the hi hat is supposed to be a closed sound. And the reason that's put there is because the hi hat hit prior to that. So if you look at um, count on the one, on the end of one, you're going to see an open sign. That means you open the hi hat when you hit it. Then the next hit on count two is when the hi-hat actually closes, okay? So you leave that, the hi-hat open for that amount of time, the one eighth note. So it would sound like this. So you hear that. So you're almost getting this eighth note feel and playing one of the strokes with your hi-hat foot. A lot of times, even if you were to hit the hi-hat with your hand, that stroke would, that, that X would be there as well, just to kind of tell you that the hi-hat's supposed to be closed now. Cool. And can you actually do, Kyle, can you uh, load up number exercise number two? Can you do it again with Smart Beat Technology? Yeah. Casey just joined us, and I'm sure there's a couple other people that have just joined us okay. that might have missed the Smart Beat Tech. Sure. So let's do it one more time. Okay. So you heard that the hi hat. Tss, tss, tss. like one of those metronomes. Yep. Is that what it is? I've never used one of those metronomes. Oh, yeah. uh, I think you're. It's like that. Yeah, just like that. Scott A says, "Nice job, guys. So much better on my iPod that I can now see this music score right in front of me mm. instead of having to scroll down." That's a really good point. That is a good point. For those of you guys who who aren't a member of Drumio. Um, just so you know, all of the, the whole website is mobile friendly. And not only are the videos mobile friendly, but it's, it's built to be browser friendly as well. So mm -hmm. if you want to just browse the lessons or filter through different topics, it's really easy to do that because it's, 
it's built like a smartphone, like your smartphone screen with all the icons and stuff like that. And so um, that's mobile friendly. And then when you're watching this, you can watch this on your iPhone or iPod or iPad, and you see the sheet music right there with the bouncy ball. And you can actually play along right with it. Cool. It's pretty crazy. It's awesome. You guys, this, this, can you believe that we are able to learn drums this way? I, I know uh, people say I'm young, but when I learned, they had to like... And uh, the, the teacher had to like write it down on a piece of paper, and then he'd give me the piece of paper. Yeah. And that's like the only way. There was yeah. no other way, or that, or, or I guess listen to to albums. But now it's like well, the resources that you guys have is just insane. I know uh, the next generation of drummers are going to just slay us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just going to totally. be slaying everybody who had to learn. But Dave, without we are the building the army. Yeah, the art, the drummy <laughs> army. You'll support us when you're better than us, right, everyone out there? <laughs> um, Fred says, "Hey, uh, Jerry, what uh, what is a song that uses a pattern like number five? I think that's a swing one. I th yeah, like number five. Any oh, jazz song. Any out there. jazz song will we'll use an element of that pattern. Yeah, but you might you might hear different things put in some stuff with the snare drum, and some stuff with uh, different stuff with the bass drum, but the main basic uh, ride sw a swing pattern is there. And so, yeah, you just search jazz, famous jazz song, and uh, you'll find it. Like, go to search some Dave Brubeck, or um, even if, the, my favorite jazz stuff is uh, the Buddy Rich, what is it, the Buddy Rich Tribute? Oh, yeah. Time. Like, yeah. That, it's like crazy jazz, but it's, uh, it's awesome to listen to because it's famous drummers who came together to, um, to put a tribute album together for Buddy Rich, mm -hmm. and they play with this wicked big band and it's a lot of jazz, it's a lot of Latin. But if you don't even like jazz and Latin, but you just love listening to great drummers um, like that, then that's a great one to, to pick up. I just like was obsessed with that. Yeah, it's a DVD pack out there too for that. Is there? Yeah, so you can watch them. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, Marcus says, uh, can you repeat what style is all beats, please? Hmm? So do you want to just mention what style, I guess, each one <laughs> of these you'd fit into? It's uh... Well, the first four are like your basic rock um, and pop type thing. So if yeah. you're going to play in any church, uh, any top 40 band where, where um, you're learning you know, the popular songs, um, th that's what you're going to want to study, those first four. The next three, the fifth one is more of a, a swing beat, like I just mentioned. Number six is a bossa nova pattern. Um, but even that kind of thing, if you listen to like any sort of Brit rock and stuff, they have elements of that in there. Like if you listen to Franz Ferdinand or something, they have a lot of stuff like this. Of that yeah. Brit rock type thing, it has those weird things when the guitar is going that, 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 yeah. And so, um, so you don't necessarily even use it just in Bossa Nova, but and play it as, elsewhere as well. And number seven is definitely more blues type style. Cool, yeah. Daniel J. Jones says, Just letting you know, there's a bit of an issue with the chat, it's overloading. That happens every now and then, but very, very rarely now, um, because we just have too many people trying to sign up. Mondays, it happens a lot because there's just yeah. Because we're on live and we're public, and I yeah. guess today is the same thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Jank says, uh, with the new technology, think of all the money you'll save by not having to print the sheet music for every lesson. No more ink print cartridges for Drumio and the uh, and the drum team. Brilliant business sense, Jared and Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're trying to do, is save you money. We're green. We're going green, guys. You know what? That's what it will do, but uh, that wasn't our our initial motivation, but that's a, a, definitely an extra benefit we didn't think of. Yeah, yeah. Dave DeWay says, how can I use smart technology for my live gigs? Just awesome, guys. I don't <laughs> think you can use it for live gigs. <laughs> no. But uh, it, you can learn the beats before the live gigs using yeah. smart beat technology. Uh, Luke Roos says, is there any way I can get that play along you played at the start of the lesson? Yes, of course. Yes. If, if you <laughs> click right below the video, there's a link that says download the live lesson PD or MP3s. It's included in there as long as... Or, or, is as this well just as, for members or is this on the live page as well? Uh, I believe this might be just for members. Yeah, it's probably just... Um, and you get the, obviously all the MP3s for each exercise as well as the two play alongs. Um, and Luke, you're a member, so you should be able to download that. Yep. Uh, Karen says, Jared, what can you talk about the triplet pattern from number seven? Or can you talk about the triplet pattern sure. for number seven? Okay, so let's just, let's just look at the, the way it looks. Can you throw it up on screen, Kyle? Okay, so there, there you have it. You see there's a count on the one, and then there's an eighth note rest. And that's an eighth note triplet rest. So we count one, rest, let. Okay, so if, if the air is rest there because 
um, you can kind of trick yourself into resting. So you go one rest let, two rest let, three rest let, four rest let. Try it. Oh, no thanks. Try it. One yeah. rest let, two rest let, three rest let, four rest let. Yeah. I went off time a little bit there. Also, if you want to get crazy, you could count drum me yo, drum me yo, drum me yo, drum me yo. Okay, so drum me yo, drum me yo, drum me yo, drum me yo, one. And, uh, so on the hi-hat, just the hi-hat pattern, that's what you'll want to learn first. And it'll sound like this. Also, what you'll know I'm doing is on the counts one, two, three, and four, I'm hitting with the shoulder of the stick here. When I hit the let's, I'm hitting with the tip of the stick. And that kind of gives it this more of a, a dynamic feel. It gives the, it way more groove rather than it sounding like, like this. Okay, and so you definitely want that more of a groovy feel. If you do what I first did there with a the band, that they might look at you and be like, "Whoa, yeah, what thing is going on." Well, both of them were correct, but one of them sounded way better. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not necessarily just technically how it's played. It's also, or it's not just where the notes line up all the time. It's actually how you execute those notes. Exactly. Drum Monkey says, "Dave, what's up with your nose? Did Jared hit me?" Yeah, he did hit me, but not in my nose. He hit me right here. I'm a little sick. Yeah. But uh, that's fine. Dave right? is always sick. I'm always seem to be sick. You need uh, to take better care of yourself, Dave. I'm concerned. I'm about always you. I'm always either on the forums or the lessons. <laughs> I'm just dying. <laughs> Drum Jack says, Dave, don't forget to update the notation key. It's still the old one. That will be updated tomorrow with the whole site update yeah. for members. So don't worry about that. Um, Dirty Wendell, I just love your name. Dirty Wendell says, Great work, everyone, guys. I've noticed that your smart beat does show up when Jared's playing. A, he does not show up when you're playing at 140 beats per minute. Is there a reason for that? Will faster stuff come in the future? Oh yeah. The the reason we're just we wanted to just do slow because that's that's where it actually makes the most sense. Yeah. We don't always want you guys to rely on that. And so we want to first give it to you in really, really slowly using the SmartPeak technology. Then we're going to take it up faster, hopefully show you more angles in the future. And that's, I believe, the best way to do it. Now, we can eventually do it faster as well. There's no, like, we could put it at 300 beats a minute if we want. It just goes, oh, oh, learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, some of the, uh, I think it was on Bass Drum Seekers, or one of the products we have, there's some where it's like 180 beats per minute. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, what, <laughs> what just happened there? Yeah. <clears throat> Ray Ray says, hey, Jared and Dave, I just want to say thanks. You've really helped me with my drumming. I remember watching Jared's XFIL lessons on freedrumlessons.com. <laughs> that was hey. such a lot. 2008 or something. Or that, is seven? The, that lesson, I just updated it. So I have a new version of it coming out in the next couple days. Yeah. Mem yeah. All you members are going to get to see it. So Cool. <clears throat> um, Fabric Fabricious Benjamin says, hey, guys, great work on Drumio so far. Is there a way to hand in work via Drumio to get feedback? Oh, of yes. course there is. In fact, every maybe once or twice a week we actually do about one or two video reviews from our members submit them on youtube or upload them to youtube and submit them in the forums and everybody has their own forum uh thread that they can post whatever videos they have in there they get not only reviewed by us jared some of the instructors there but also other members from the community give feedback as well so and the beauty of that you guys is you build your space right so yeah. When you sign up for Drumio, you get to create this space, you get to post all your videos, and then a year from now, you're going to get to look back at your progress. And uh, I think that's what you know really sets it apart from anything else that you could do, is because you can literally track your progress mm -hmm. within Drumio. And I've actually seen some of the members' videos where they've shown um, their progress from their very first month, I think we started Drumio, <coughs> to now. And it's an improvement already, right? Yeah. Uh, Simon Stewart just says, hey Dave and Jared, I've been with you guys for a year now, uh, from Monday weekly live lessons to daily Drumio live lessons. Awesome. Just wanted to congratulate everybody here at the headquarters. Uh, happy 100th. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much, Simon. Simon's a, a lifetime member of ours, a great guy. Um, Drum Monkey says, any tips on making your hi-hat opening slash closing um, uh, so sloshy. I find slo I find I slosh it too much. Um, yes, sometimes that can have to do with the, the hi-hat stand. If it's not that, like I have 15-inch hi-hats, so I can't get a nice crisp sound. But if you want to practice it, th the best way to do it is just to do this. Okay. 
practice doing that. The next beat that uh, I'll show you to practice is basically one, two, three, four, four E. And you're going to open it right on the E. On the 16th yeah, note. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like this. And then you could actually do it every time as well, on like right before count two, or right after count two, on the two E and the four E. Cool. And Drum Monkey, if you are a member, I believe you are, um, yesterday's lesson we did on cymbal choking, we talked about that. And oh. Controlling the amount of time your cymbals are, are loud or alive before you choke them, whether it's your hi-hats or your, your crashes. And that is good. that's called uh, hi-hat barks, especially yeah. when it's like that. Daniel J. Jones says, everybody here in the chat has all agreed that the bouncing ball will be called Dennis. Dennis, the bouncing Dennis, ball. Dennis, the bouncing ball. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. It's coined. There we go. <laughs> right, Captain Bob says uh, the technology today lets you cover the whole, or the technology today lets you cover the whole globe. Living away from uh, places to see how some beats are created, Drummer brings it right to us, and we can repeat as needed for those of us who are a little slower. Not available like that in any other life form. No questions. You guys just have it going right. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, Captain Bob. Yeah, and he's actually, yeah, he sent us an email with all this fish that he caught on his first trip out. Huge fish. Yeah, you guys, we're yeah. trying to arrange something where Captain Bob is a member. He's a, he owns a fishing charter in Alaska, and we would absolutely love to go up there and uh, do some fishing. So yeah, hopefully, we, hopefully it works work. out this summer. But <coughs> crossing Dr our fingers. Yeah, ho I think I think we'll figure Scheduling it out. Scheduling is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, Drum Mom says, "Hey guys, you are awesome. I enjoyed all your lessons in the archives. Happy 100th. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I've learned so much. Question." <clears throat> Can you tell me the ways to hit my hi-hats? Um, in particular, the motion of like rocking the wrist up and down to get, say, a swing feel, or so you don't get that even hi-hat sound. Thanks yeah. again, Nancy the drum mom. And this is what I said before about the shuffle pattern, okay? Uh, Nancy, I just, I always call this a shoulder tip method. Now, when you get into the motions and stuff, you have stuff like down stroke, tap stroke, up stroke, full strokes. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's just keep it really simple. So you hit with the shoulder on counts one, two, three, four. Hit with the tip on all the ends. So it looks like this. Okay, so that's what you practice just to start. Shoulder, tip. And remember to keep a very loose grip. If your grip is too tight, then you won't have this nice fluid arm motion. And that's what you're seeing from a lot of these drummers play. A lot of the drumming instructors, when they play, it's just like really fluid and fast mm -hmm. and effortless. That's what you need, a nice loose grip and a nice relaxed posture behind the kick. And she also mentioned swing. If you wanted to do that with triplets, you just um, hit the downbeats with the, or the quarter note, sorry, with the shaft of your stick, yeah. and then tip with the lets. Yeah. Triplet, one triplet, two triplets. Same yeah. idea. Uh, Bob Tab says, sorry for this, uh, if this is a stupid question, there's no stupid questions here, no. uh, but in number two, when you open your, to close your hi-hats, after Jared hits the hi-hat, he closes it. Does he close the hi-hat, or does he um, does the close hit on the drum notation refer to the pedal closing on the hi-hats, or yes. when he actually hit it? Yeah. Yes, that refers, um, and you won't always see it notated that way. This is the way Dave notated it, and I think yeah. it's fine because um, it kind of shows you guys exactly where it's supposed to close, and it also gives you the X at the top. Yeah. So you can choose to follow the what is it called the plus sign at the top, or you can choose to follow the closed hi-hat stroke at the bottom. Cool. Zynex says, uh, would it be possible to make a play along archive? Ooh, that's coming tomorrow. Like I said, there's yeah. going to be an update for you, so keep in mind. Or keep, yeah. keep an eye out for, for that. For those of you, we're building a section called Tools. Yeah. And in there, you'll have all your Drumio tools. And Pop09 Pop says, how do I look at this video again? If you are a member, it'll be in the archives. And actually, this is a public lesson, so it'll be on YouTube. Yeah, it will. So, uh, but this, he's a member if he's asking a question there. Yeah, you're right, totally. But he <clears> might not... Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'll post a link to it in the, on Facebook as well. Exactly. Rosie Y says, what range does the smart beat work at then, uh, tempo-wise, I'm assuming? Any tempo. 
We can yeah. make it work out. We can make it work out any temple. But like I said, after 150 and beyond, it might be completely useless because yeah. uh, it goes too fast. Um, Michael Schooler says, uh, sorry, Schooler says, can we get Jared to do the sorry song here for everybody? Oh, the I'm sorry song? We can try it, but the, the thing is, this it's copyrighted, so I, I wouldn't do it unless I'm going to... I don't like to put it on these YouTube videos just in case it gets flagged yeah, and you the never whole know. video gets taken down. Uh, Jake Carroll says, "Hey Dave and Jared, I love the lessons and my drumming has dramatically improved drumming's lessons. I remember being uh, I remember the big headset when you guys filmed two hour uh, lessons to tune the drums. Yeah. <laughs> when you're like, I need to change my heads, Dave. Let's do a lesson on tuning the drums. And we literally, yeah, like an eight or nine piece kit. <laughs> two hours two later. Two hours later we do And it's just like <laughs> uh, yeah, we had the, the big time. headsets on. Uh, yeah, Jake, you've been with us for a while, so thanks for uh, sticking with it. James Wayman says, how far open do you guys set up your hi-hats? Does this change depending on the music style? Dave sets them open like half an inch. This is actually more you. Yeah. Me, it's more like uh, a little over an inch. So I like a stronger chick sound. Just to add my two cents to that, James, um, uh, you do change the, depending on the style. And if I were to play more of a Latin or a jazz, I would open my hi hats up more because I get more control. I can splash them. Like Jared says, you get more of that um, uh, volume when you're stronger playing. Stronger chick. Your, a stronger chick. But when I'm playing rock, if I'm playing a Yuka gig, I'll close them a bit so I don't have to keep my hi -hat, my foot controlled on that pedal depending on how kind of a slosh, what kind of slosh I want. And if I ever go to double bass. So uh, you can change it depending on the style of music you're playing. John Gill says, hey, Dave and Jared, congrats on number 100. So glad you guys are making great learning experiences even better. Awesome. Thanks. And uh, <coughs> what snare is Jared using? This is a Casey carbon fiber snare drum. Sounds like a, a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty beefy. Yeah, it is very beefy. I think uh, it's a 6.5 by 14. Yeah. Sounds great. Jenk says, uh, it's totally time to upload a practice video using my practice pad. Or is it totally lame? Sorry. Is it totally lame to upload a practice video of me on my practice pad? It's not that I don't have the money, but I want to improve and buy a good snare uh, as a drum, as a snare drum as my reward. Jenk, I totally, totally encourage you to put a practice pad video up. We have other guys in the members um, that have put up practice pad videos. It's great for us to be able to see your technique and what you're playing and to critique you and give you some great uh, feedback and um, advice. So do not think it's too lame to do that. <clears throat> J-Dubs, I have a complaint. Uh-oh. Should I read this out loud? I am learning too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please provide less value and I would be more satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, J Dubs, that's not gonna happen. Hey, you know what? That's, I know that's a problem <coughs> with some people because there is a lot going on. But don't don't think you need to go through every single piece. You know, yeah. Set your drumming goals. Use what's there. There's something for everyone. That's all that matters. Yeah, and and, and I'm actually shocked. Some of you guys out on the chat, you're out for every lesson, which is unbelievable. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't. I I I, I mean, if I was to um, schedule time and stuff, I, I, it'd be tough to make it to every lesson. Yeah. Uh, but uh, don't worry about it if you can't make it to every single one. Um, as long as you're picking the ones that you really want to learn from and make it out to that. Drum Mom says, thanks, guys. That was perfect. A perfect uh, uh, explanation. So you're very welcome. Um, Captain Bob says, on the chat, someone wanted to know what the speed of the or what speed to practice at first. But I add, how long should we continue to play it? Like typical length of a song? Yes, that's a good idea. Put on a song and play it. If you don't make any mistakes throughout that whole song, you got it. Yeah. Time to move on. And if it feels good, you're not like tired and stuff like that. Um, whatever speed you're comfortable to start at, I did the slow versions at 80, it might be 60 for you, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. So you just, everyone will be a little bit different, but when I started out, it was in between 60 and 80. Yeah, and, and one thing I'll say too is you never really stop practicing these, like you said, no. when do I know when to stop? Jared did an example earlier on this lesson where he played number seven, and he just hammered those triplets down, and it didn't sound good, but he was playing it correctly. If you were to play a whole song like that, hammering those hi-hats down, it would be correct, but it wouldn't sound good. So you're always practicing playing the same grooves and just adding little nuances, ghost notes, changing how hard you hit each hi-hat note, yeah. and it'll slowly progress from there. So you don't, never really stop. Yeah, I always tell my students, um, when you can tell me about your day, you know, unrelated stuff to your drumming, that's when you can do it. So we always do the paradiddle, right? And I would say, so tell me about your day. 
What do you do? So I went to school and then I, and then, I, oh, and they stop. They, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, and then you do that again with a triple paradiddle, double paradiddle. Same things with the, with these beats. You play. Hey Dave, so what did you do today? And you got to tell me what did you oh, do Oh, what today? did I do? Well, I launched yeah. the new Smart Beat technology. It was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's drummy out. People are so awesome. So. Where'd you get that shirt from there? Snork Tees. Snork Tees. Yeah. People say you should have your own clothing line. You have such a <laughs> unique flavor of shirts. <laughs> this is Snork Tees. They, they send these shirts to me, though, so they're awesome. Cool. I love working with them. Yeah, no, they're, they're great. Funny shirts, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, we got one last question <clears throat> that we're going to ask, and it's actually uh, not a question. It's more of a comment, and then we're going to give some stuff away. Okay. Okay. Pickle says, for nostalgia's sake... You guys should go back to do a lesson in Jared's basement, like in the first couple live lessons. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we did a couple of ones in your uh, basement. I think with that, those are, <laughs> those are on YouTube for us to watch. We can see our, our progression from where we go to like that to this. It's pretty insane, but uh, I don't know if we'll ever go back there. Ah, you have probably somebody living in there, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you have a couple of kids now, or one kid. Uh, okay, so let's um, give some stuff away. Okay. And uh, again, everyone, I, like I said, you want to go to facebook.com slash drumio and put on there what your favorite drumio lesson has been so far and why. Okay, I'm going to lo load this up. Kill some time when I do while I do this, Jerry. Kill some time. Yeah. Um, like Dave said, tomorrow we have a big update coming out for members. We're also launching something called uh, a Drumio showroom. You can, um, it's not even up yet, but I believe you can sign up for it tomorrow at drumio.com slash showroom. And uh, there's some really cool lessons going in there. And uh, there's, it's a way for people who aren't necessarily signed up to Drumio to kind of check out what it's all about. Uh, yeah, it's tons of fun. Ready? <coughs> I am. There's a ton of, uh, of really cool awesome. uh, comments. I'm reading all of them here, what the favorite lessons are here. Awesome. Some of them are mine. Some of them are yours. Uh, okay, so let's do this here. Um, Jared, pick a letter. <coughs> R, C, or B? B. B. <coughs> Benjamin Fabricius. I uh, um, Also... The drum and bass lesson is... Oh, he adds two posts on here. So I like the one on drum soloing. Yeah. Good work, guys. And he also likes the drum and bass lesson. Let's have more of that. I love modern drumming. Cool. Benjamin, you've won a month free of Drumio. Email me, Dave, at Drumio.com. Dave just liked your post, so you should... I just liked your post, so you should be able to see it. And, uh, okay, here we go again. Let's do this one. Um, e. And actually, you know what? Some people might already have members, or members might already have... You can uh, exchange it for a pack. We'll, we'll exchange it for something. Okay, so E, N, or J. J for Jared. J, J for Jared. <laughs> Juka Ilmavrita. Ah, terrible. Sorry. Um, Juka says, my favorite lesson was Mike's percussion and hand drumming. Nice. It was something different and very interesting. <laughs> he says, P.S. Please don't even try to pronounce my surname. Should have read that first. Sorry, Juka. <laughs> uh, anyway, email me, davidrumio.com, and I'll get yeah. you hooked up on Drumio. Congrats, Drumio. man. Congrats. It's going to be good to have you in there. This one is for the year-long membership. Oh. This is a $200 value here, guys. Uh, let's do this here. <clears throat> okay. H... Y or F? F for folk. <laughs> Fabio Patani. Uh, favorite lesson? The flat foot technique. Absolutely loved it. Nice. Cool. Fabio, Congrats. you've won a year of drumming. If you already have a year, we'll give you another year on top of that. Right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Now, I, got, I, I, I have a lot of flack from all the members that say I don't have Facebook and we never get to right. win anything. So I'm going to give away a pack right now. Okay. And if any of you guys have not checked out, this is a hint, go check out me and Jared's bio or any of the other uh, drummer's bio or interviews that we have on the instructor's tab. What's it called? The um, faculty? The uh, team. Team. Yeah. And uh, we have every, – every instructor has a little video and a little write-up of them. Um, so what I'm going to ask you here, and the first person in the chat to uh, give me the correct answer, either me or Jared, what is our favorite movie? Okay, and we say it in there. And I know it's a little bit delayed, so I'll give it some time. First person to guess either one, me or Jared's favorite movie. I'll probably throw it. Yeah, we got it already. Wow. Ray Ray has said it. Um, Starship Troopers. That's yours? That's my favorite movie. That's a classic. If you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, cool. Ray Ray, I I think you have, I don't know if you have everything or not, but anyway, email me just to remind myself and um, let me know what you want. I'll get you. 
I'll get you hooked up. Awesome. You guys, thank you so much for coming out and being a part of everything we're doing here at Drumio. It's been a blast, you know, putting up these lessons and I what I, I believe we were changing the way people learn drums online and, and we're really pushing the boundaries of online drum education. And so I really appreciate all of you who are supporting us, whether it be by signing up as a member for Drumio or just, you know, following us on Facebook, sharing our stuff and, and positive comments on YouTube, wherever you are. It's uh it's awesome to be a part of such an amazing drum community. Dave is doing a great job with uh with Drumio and organizing all the instructors and, and creating amazing content and so cool thank you guys and we'll see you again i just want to say Vi Vita and jambo got your favorite movie nice yeah it was titanic no uh, it wasn't you guessed it yeah it was wasn't it titanic, titanic is, i've never seen that you've seen titanic. i have not seen titanic <laughs> thank you guys so much yeah and we'll see you guys again very soon see ya